Hello, hope this video finds you well. Tonight we are going to look at the reverse 3 problem from list 1 in Python. And the problem states, given an array of ints length 3, return a new array with the elements in reverse order. So 1, 2, 3 becomes 3, 2, 1. And what we notice is that we're just switching the first and the last element. I'm going to go through three different examples, or three different ways to do it. Um, and the first one is just using a temp variable. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to Make a temp variable and set that equal to nums at zero. And then I'm going to take nums at zero and I'm going to overwrite it with nums at two, which is the last index. And then I can say nums at two is equal to temp. And if you followed last night's video, you'll remember that this is the, the common mistakes new, young new programmers begin. They forget the fact that when you overwrite nums at zero, that value is lost forever. And then I just return nums. And I hit go, and there it is. Now, this approach is fine, especially at this stage, but what is I really want to kind of I drive in with, with students of mine, especially when they're just beginning to program, is I want them to be really cautious because what they're doing is they're changing the parameter nums. And since it's a reference variable, that can have unintended consequences. So again, with coding about it doesn't matter, but I always like to highlight this other solution where we don't modify nums, but we create a new list. And there's two ways I'm going to show you how to do that. The first way is literally just to make a list and then return it. So I'm going to say nums1 is equal to nums at 2, nums at 1, nums at 0. And then I just simply return nums1. And I hit go, and there it is. And of course, we can always one line this. And if I just wanted to run line it, one liner it, I would just take this assignment statement from my list and I would simply just return it. There it is. Um, for those of you that are learning Java along the way, just be really careful when you start returning an array like this in your return statement or pass an array directly in as a parameter, there's some funny things that can happen. So just a caution point for those of you that are playing with Java. All right. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. Bye.